everyone. Uh, this week has been a pretty tough week and it's probably the right time to talk about this. So I've actually filmed this yesterday um, as the chances are I'm in hospital today. Um, usually when it comes to a episode of Finchy Fridays, I film it in the morning and um, basically edit it and usually like to have it out by 10 or 11 a.m. <laughs> So on Wednesday, um, it was actually International Childhood Cancer Awareness Day, which again is great timing um, because I'm starting a new YouTube channel about childhood cancer and just trying to raise awareness. So don't worry, I'll still be keeping this channel um, and it'll all be about you know video production, wedding films, everything I do on a day-to-day -day, um, running of my own business. Um, but I have briefly talked about this topic before, done a couple of videos. Um, so many of you, many of you will know, um, just over a year ago. So 12th of January, um, 2022, my youngest daughter, Olivia, who was two and a half at the time, got diagnosed with, um, neuroblastoma, which is a rare childhood cancer. Um, it, it affects about a hundred children in the UK a year. Um, and approximately about 600 children in America. She was stage four high risk. Um, children in that category, their prognosis is 40 to 50% of survival. Um, we actually only recently asked our um, consultants Olivia's prognosis um, and hers was 40%. She has done so well. Um, and as of today, so this episode of Finchy Fridays, she's two weeks away from finishing her um, treat, her treatment here. And then many of you might remember that we had to raise a lot of money because we then have to go to America, um, which there's a trial vaccine that stops the relapse because if she relapses, her survival chance is literally about 5%. Um, especially if it's not caught early enough. Um, so amazingly, we've managed to raise the money. Um, what I will do is in the description below, uh, put in, um, I'll put in our crowdfunding page. You don't need to, don't, you know, there's no, we're not actually raising money there, uh, but you can like read up. I'll put in her Instagram account as well because um, my wife's been sort of uh, updating her story um, and it's a nice, you know, it is nice to look back on. Um, it's one of the reasons why we raised a lot of the money quite quickly. So anyway, that brings me on to um, the new channel. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a subject that's a slash topic that's really close to our hearts. So as I've got all the equipment, I'm going to be interviewing um, other parents whose child might have already um, gone through treatment and survived and, and come out the other end. Um, it will also include parents who have had their children battle cancer and sadly um, lost that battle. Um, and it will also be parents who are going through treatments because they can, they'll definitely have some fresh um, views of what, the now, you know, going, what's it like at this stage? Um, because we've, we surprisingly, you, you also become in this cancer bubble with all the other parents. Um, and you get, you know, you, you've been in hospital sometimes months on end, same parents there. Um, and you basically create a little network. Um, and the idea of the channel is to raise awareness of all the different types of childhood cancers there are, um, well, by interviewing the parents. Um, and they can be talking about um, their journey, what their treatment plans like, uh, the support that they've got on the had through, um, such as the great charities that have helped um, help them and helped us. Um, and it'll be a place then for parents that, if they need to raise money for treatment abroad, like we had to, um, hopefully I'll get a good following, and um, you know I can put their link on there. Um, I'm going to have another crowdfunding link in general 
um, which all the money from that will go to um, charities that have helped myself and the other parents that I interview. Um, it's just another way that I can donate money to that. And you never know, I might even, like, my end goal is actually to create a charity itself, um, raising awareness and funding families that need treatment abroad, um, plus also giving back to um, the communities around here that have helped people get through, you know, the toughest times of their life, basically. Um, it's all in the com complete early stages. I've been, I've been thinking of this um, way before Christmas. Uh, I mentioned it to my wife because she's going to be the first person I interview. Um, I've got a couple of other people already lined up. Um, but basically, I've ordered a new backdrop. Um, I want to get a new chair. Sounds sounds really silly. Um, but basically, I don't know if any of you have seen um, the Lad Bible TV YouTube channel. I'll put a little link in the description below. Um, but they interview um, all sorts of people. Um, undercover cops who have gone into the football hooligan world, um, protection officers, um, uh, prostitutes, and, and gangsters, literally random. But I always love um, their style, how they've done it. And um, basically, I want to do something similar um, to that. And um, yeah, so that is my new YouTube channel that's going to be hopefully launching, um, well, basically we're in hospital week this week. Um, my daughter's treatment is coming to an end. She spiked a temp. It's been a bit, she's had like two viruses. Um, I thought it was a bit of relapse, still potentially could be. Um, she's going to have some tests done. Um, so we've got a bit of, of some worrying times at the minute. Uh, but hopefully, um, she's got two weeks left of her treatment. Then she's got a couple of weeks off until scan week. And hopefully, once we've got the scan results, I'll get at least one video filmed then before we actually head off to America. Um, and when we go to America, I'm actually going to do a bit of vlogging as well. Um, sort of take this channel there with me uh, because the first time we go there we will be there for a month in New York City and I would love to meet and uh, not well meet just walk past um, Casey Neistat's office I mean, he was basically one of the first YouTubers I ever followed um, quite a few years ago now and I would love to meet him as well but um, just you know just walk, go in New York um, but I was really getting my hopes up but you know, it could still not actually happen depending on how these next couple of weeks go with Olivia. Um, but I'm literally heading to the hospital in about a couple of hours time. Um, and I'll be there on this day, Finchley Friday, and probably for the weekend. Um, but fingers crossed, she'll be out soon. So if you haven't already liked and subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, and then when I get my next channel launched, um, please like and subscribe as well to that and spread the word because cancer does affect one in every two of us now. It's so, so one in two will have cancer in their lifetime. It's a sickening statistic. Um, and, you know, I'm a family of four. One of us already had it. I'm always thinking another one of us could have it as well. Um, it, is, it is horrible, I'm not going to lie, um, especially childhood cancer thinking that you could lose your daughter or son, um, in my case, daughter. Um, it is not nice. But anyway, um, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.